Now let's go ahead and compare the mag loop. Let's go ahead and now that I got a mag loop over here on RXA. And now what I'll do with the mag loop is I'm going to rotate it to find the best spot. So depending on where I'm at, let's rotate this. Look at that. Now, of course, the mag loop, nothing's going to beat that mag loop. But this will allow me to run diversity. My mag loop on one ear and the other antenna on the other. Look at that. No static, no nothing. And this is with nothing on. No wideband, no noise blanker, no noise reduction. This is just using the W6 LVP antenna. So let's keep rotating it, and you're probably going to see the noise floor start to go up and start hearing the static. And then at some point it'll start going down again. And as I go around, see now it's starting to go back up again. Right about here. See, that's the wrong, that's too far. It's starting to go up. Go back the other way. Right about there. So this is the mag loop antenna. Now let's go back to the with the noise canceling. So that's with the noise canceling. Now let's switch back to the mag loop. And we can probably improve this. On commercial airplanes on regular airports, not the military. <laughs> well, and it makes you think about that insurance that they offer you. Can you remember when they had the machines sitting in the lobby, huh? Yeah, I do. And I just thought, I mean, like, Let me rotate the mag loop again. Okay, that's going up. Yeah, right about there's a... Well, as you can see, honestly, the Russian antenna with the doublet and the noise canceler on some things is doing as good as the mag loop. So that's kind of cool. And again, like I say, this is nice because now I have two ways I can listen fairly decently. I can run in diversity mode, have my left and my right. Sorry to get distracted again with this, but I figure the more I show people how this all works, the better. Uh, let's find one other place where there's definite noise and we can compare the different antenna scenarios where somebody's talking, real noise, not just atmospheric stuff. So let's see what we got. Okay, so there's the mag loop. I think that's about as good as you're gonna get it. Now, let's go to the main antennas. That's what it is with the MFJ noise canceler and the Russian antenna. And then this is what it is without any of it. So let's go back to the noise canceler. Oh, you know you watch the sequel now. Oh, yeah. 
still there, but much less. So that's with the noise canceller. That's without the noise canceller. With the noise canceller. Without the noise canceller. Let's go to the mag loop. Let's see if it's moved a little. I'll rotate the antenna. Maybe right there. There. That's good. So this is the mag loop. So it varies. You know, it's kind of a tie. Well, right now the mag loop's doing better. So that's the mag loop. Now let's switch back to the main antennas. So I kind of knew what was going on, but when they started that kissing and going on, I said, that's There you go. That's with the noise canceller. Let's see if I can phase it out. The noise moves, so you, you do have to continually adjust it. It's just, but, you know, it's better than not being able to get rid of it at all. Now let's turn the noise canceller off. Noise canceller on. So that's that's a definite. That's a definite for sure. MFJ with the Russian antenna, you're gonna have good results. So let's go to the main antennas without noise canceling. Compare. So this is the main antenna without noise canceling. Compared to the mag loop. It's, uh, this, this particular noise, now I'm not dissing the mag loop at all. This mag loop has been a really good antenna, but every bit of noise is, different noise is different. And it, whatever the case is, wherever this noise is coming from, this mag loop just can't get it. There it is. I got it. I just wasn't patient enough. There. Mag loop, main. There we go. Mag loop. Main. I just didn't rotate it far enough. Mag loop. Main. Mag loop. Main. So you can see the mag loop definitely beats just the doublet by itself. Now let's turn the MFJ on with the Russian antenna. Readjust. Okay. The one thing about this is you can turn these knobs a lot faster than you can rotate that antenna. I think that's as good as I'm going to get it on the, the, the noise canceling. So there's noise canceling. Without noise canceling. Noise canceling. Without noise canceling. Mag loop. Look at that. So yeah, the mag loop is definitely doing the best. You can't beat that, but this would allow me to at least have this in one ear, and then I could run this with the noise canceling and adjust it a little. And don't forget, I can turn the tracking notching filter on. That's without noise canceling. 
with noise canceling and the notch filter. So you can do a little better. Now the noise has moved. There's the mag loop, and you can hear it again, so I have to move. Maybe right there. So that's, as you can see, the radio isn't able to really do anything with this noise, even with turning the mag loop to the right spot and all that. Let's go back to the noise canceller. Let's see if I can. This is with the game FJ. Well, I could go on all night, but as you can see, having that Russian antenna, the MFJ noise canceller, and the mag loop, if you're fighting noise, having all those in your arsenal, the noise moves, you can adjust. One may, thing may work better at one time as opposed to the other. Again, you could run a diversity mode if your radio supports it. One set of, you know, your noise canceller and your main antenna on one ear, mag loop on the other ear. Now, there is one other way you can remove noise, and that is with this switch box, which I showed you the other day. But <laughs> when I proceeded to fry everything, I realized what happened. This switch box had a short. And that is why the automatic switching in the W6 LVP, that's why it did not switch to the transmit antenna, because it didn't detect it right, because this wonderful little MFJ product had a short. The B plug here is shorted to, it's shorted. <laughs> so that is why my automatic switch didn't work that's why it fried my antenna and cost me $200 in damage. And then because I was frustrated trying to figure out what was going on, I fried my Russian antenna, which was another $50 worth of damage. But it all started because this switch that I just got had a short. <laughs> so, live and learn. I don't think I ever want to use, I'm going to use these switches, I think they're just going to send me a new one. I'm going to test it to make sure nothing's shorting with the next one that comes in with a continuity tester. But I also, when I found this out, had an old switch that I bought from a ham fest and a couple of those are shorted as well. So you got to be careful with these switches and use a continuity tester to make sure you, you shouldn't be shorting. Not when this thing isn't selected, period. It shouldn't happen.